Hey Aquarius, welcome back to your weekly reading. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Okay, starting off with love. Ace of Wands. What? Who you with? Mm, nasty. Okay. <laughs> Ace of Wands. A lot of passion. Okay. What else? Oh, somebody spying. Page of Swords just popped out. Somebody wants this. They are waiting. They they watching, waiting, hoping for a new beginning. Passion with you. Two of Cups. Woo. Okay. What y'all doing out here in these streets? Okay. Why is the Ace of Wands here for your love life? Two of Swords. Someone has a decision to make. Uh-huh. When it comes to this passionate new beginning, whether you want the D or not, the Ace of Wands represents uh, the penis. Okay. So you could be trying to decide whether to give it to somebody or whether you want to get it from someone. Okay. Why is the page of swords here? Seven of swords. Someone is being very sneaky, getting information. Like I feel this covert mission, like somebody trying to get informa information. Like this could be you. You could be trying to get information on someone through tarot readings, you know, watching a bunch of tarot readings, you could be trying to like cross watch and find out information on your crush or somebody like that. But if it's the other person, it's like they're trying to get information on you being very sneaky, quiet, like sneaking around, not letting you know, but definitely spying. Why is the two of cups here? Tower could be a Scorpio. What? Ooh, this is a major arcana. Mm. <laughs> Uh-huh. With that two of cups energy, it's like someone like a shocking thing happens. Like someone realizes like, man, I actually do have feelings. Okay. With that two of cups in the tower, it's like, it may have started off as just sex, but somebody is developing feelings. Knight of swords is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Seven of wands. Ooh, it's like someone could be panicking. Like, may feel like you're trying to block them or block them out. Maybe you're trying to cut someone off. Someone is panicking. This Knight of Swords energy is trying to rush in, but someone has their guard up. It's like, mm, -mm. but someone is trying to get information or wanting to come in, rush in, talk to you. They may even try to drive by if they know where you live, like come see you. That's the energy of the Knight of Swords. They're coming to see you, wanting to see you. Let's get some... Uh, island time on this yeah give us some more insight on this energy oh we have clock needs time takes time okay and that's what i feel like someone feels like they're running out of time oh okay we have oh we had how many three to fly out baby we have girl with a snake mm, someone is a snake in this situation be careful Empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed or used. Be careful. Enable and boundaries. Be very careful. I think yeah, uh, Leo just had that card as well. Uh, not enough. Someone feels like they're not getting enough attention, enough time with you. Maybe you feel like this person can't give you enough of what you need as well. Some somebody is not getting enough of what they not. Ooh, not today. Uh-uh, not today. See, someone is avoiding a phone call, a person, a conversation. Someone is avoiding you. Um, Maybe you're trying to get answers and remember vice versa. Maybe they're trying to get answers on you or from you rather. They want, you know, to talk to you. And it's like, you're pushing the phone away. Like, I don't want to talk. I don't, mm -mm. it's like, a, there's this, air of skepticism like you're skeptical about this person or the situation maybe you feel like something is not being told to you what's the advice here for your love life for this week oh okay <laughs> okay we have it's up to you and remain positive so yeah i feel like that two of swords that choice that needs to be made it's up to you if you want to deal with this person um, but just know that someone, it's like someone may be saying, I need more time. I need more time. And somebody is saying like, I want it now, but another person is saying, I need time to deal with this. 
So it's up to you and remain positive. Um, this situation may work itself out. It may not, but it's up to you which way you want to go or which way you want to take it. Okay. All right. Moving right along to your career. What's going on with your career, your money, finances, Aquarius and their career. What's going on with you and your career, Aquarius and their career. Okay. <laughs> Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, you and your career. We have the Strength card, Leo energy, the Chariot, Cancerian energy, the Fool. Okay, so, so what is difficult? Something is a struggle. Maybe the the ladder of success. I don't know why I'm getting that, but it's like climbing the ladder of success has been a bit of a struggle. It's been difficult for you, but you're you're steadily climbing. Know that you are progressing because the chariot brings in success, okay? And the full energy is like feeling free, getting to that place, building yourself up for success and getting to that place where you actually have the... Y'all, I'm so sorry about these dogs. I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> them dogs started barking but hey that could be a sign that something good is coming in it's like pay attention to that part of the reading okay why is strength here because you got all major arcanas there you are queen of swords coming in as your own energy air sign energy is here it's like all all the struggles that you've gone through with your career or are currently dealing with currently going through it's like you are standing strong now in your energy. You're very confident at this time in your career. Why is the chariot here? Five of wands. So it's like there could be a lot of conflicting energies around you. There could be, for some reason, I'm, I'm getting jealousy. You may be dealing with some people who are jealous or jealous of your success, wondering how you got there or how you're getting there. Why is the full energy here? Seven of Swords, yeah. Be careful about people on your job. It's, it's it's an energy like with that Seven of Swords, people see you doing your own thing and it's like they wondering, like, how how did you get there? How how are you doing that? Like, or how did you get that position? So people could start wondering about you, Aquarius, like wondering how you get these offers or how you got that job. How did you get the raise? Somebody is like, it could, I feel like it's several people. This could be several people. Um, maybe not even on your job. It's like several people just looking at your life, like wondering how you're getting your money. Somebody trying to be nosy. That's what I feel. Okay, what's the advice here? What's the advice? Opportunity. Yep. <laughs> you have a lot of opportunities coming in. I feel it. You are stepping up to success. Okay where you, you may be able to create your own schedule or be free to travel, be your own boss. There's some type of opportunity coming in for you. Okay, so be aware of that. And let's get one Oracle card. Memories of love. So you may have to cut people off. When I get memories of love, it's like, yeah, we used to be cool. You know, memories of love. Yeah, we used to be cool, but I release you. I let you go, you know on that type of energy okay what's going on with you and your family aquarius and their family what do you need to hear and know about your family aquarius and their family oh okay empress you could be thinking about a wife a mother somebody could be pregnant you could get news of someone's pregnancy you could be dealing with a mother figure, needing to talk to a mom. When I get the empress, it's mom energy, wife energy. Um, you could be looking at someone in high regard, like holding someone up on a pedestal as well. Okay. Aquarius and their family. Page of Swords. Someone is spying. A mother figure could be spying. A wife could be spying. Remember, your spouse or significant other is your family. Let's get one more for Aquarius. Ace of yeah ace of wands somebody trying to wife you let <laughs> look let me tell you this somebody trying to make you a part of their family <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. okay so somebody is like spying and wanting to start something very passionate what why is the empress here for your family ace of cups y'all 
someone is in love. Someone is in love with you. I feel this energy of someone wanting to like make a baby with you. Um, <laughs> somebody want kids. Why is the page of swords here? Nine of cups. They want you. Nine of cups is desire. Okay. Someone desires to spy. They want you. They're looking. They're watching. Why is the ace of wands here? Queen of swords. <laughs> yeah. See, they feel, I feel like they find you very attractive with that ace of wands and the queen of swords. There you are. You're coming out in your energy. It's like they see you for who you are. They may be very attracted to your intelligence, um, the way you talk, the way you conduct yourself. Someone is very attracted to your mind, um, your, your, uh, what am I trying to say? Your intellectual side. There we go. It's like someone is attracted to that. They may be a sapiosexual. Um, very attracted to someone's mind. Okay. Um, this may be a bit confusing for you with the seven of cups. You may be like, what? Queen of wands. Ooh, a fire sign. Someone has passions for you. Okay. They may be a bit confused by you. Um, <laughs> as far as like, huh, I wonder what Aquarius is thinking of me. I wonder how Aquarius feels like, um, they could also be imagining their life with you when you get the seven of cups, imagining like spending a life with you. Okay. Let's get an Oracle card on that for your family. Triumphant success. Yeah. Someone wants to start a new beginning. Could be someone that you already know. Could be someone that you already know. Okay. What's going on with your friends, Aquarius and their friends, Aquarius and their friends. What do they need to hear and know with their friendships? Okay, Queen of Cups could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. We have the Strength card. Leo's energy is here. Could have these signs in your friendship circle. And then let's get one more. Five of Wands. Okay, who getting into a conflict? You may have a friend that's in some type of conflict. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like you're dealing with a possible water sign or a Leo Who's dealing with some drama? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Ooh, I pulled two. Queen of Wands with the Eight of Swords. See, someone is stuck maybe in, in some type of debate with a fire sign, okay? This Queen of Cups could be into it with a fire sign. Maybe you have two ladies around you in your friendship circle that are very combative, or getting into some type of argument this week. Why is the strength card here? Two of swords. And see, somebody, it's like a struggle. There's some type of struggle. There's a decision to make. Maybe you try to get them to talk to each other. It's like, just talk it out. Why is the five of wands here for your friends? See, the devil energy. Somebody is being toxic. With the five of wands, that's a lot of like arguing, fighting, different opinions, can never agree on shit. Like two people that just cannot agree. Um, they cannot agree to disagree. And it's like, okay, I don't know if I want to be a part of this. What's the, oh, okay. What is the, look at that, y'all. I was about to say, what is the Oracle card? That's what I'm trying to say. Throat chakra. So what someone says this week in your friendship circle is very important. That tells me that someone will say something to offend someone else and put them in the eight of swords energy. Okay. Someone may say something to hurt someone's feelings. It's what you say. Okay. So words are very important this week in your friendship circle. See, deception and envy. Maybe someone gets jealous. Someone says something deceptive or does something to hurt someone's feelings. I feel that very strongly. And it could be between a fire sign and a water sign in your friendship circle. And it's like shit will pop off. These two may start fighting, like actual, actually like a physical fight when you get the five of wands as well. Okay. So what's the advice in this situation for you and your friends? Recovery. See, somebody, y'all, I'm telling you, somebody may get, uh, knocked the fuck out. Okay. Somebody may have to recover this friendship and you may try to help them to recover what was lost. 
like like I said, getting them to talk to each other and communicate. Okay. Alrighty. Aquarius, that is your energy for this week. Don't forget to like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Also share this video and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monet Tarot. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.